international people, this is Louise broadcasting live from Vancouver, Louise Uachu. Oh, I I got disturbed. <laughs> I got disturbed a little bit by the music continuing on for a while. I was like, well, are we continuing the music? Are we doing the show? What's going on? <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the show, my international people, Luis Uachu, broadcasting live from Vancouver. Uh, this is uh, February 28, 2013, and we're broadcasting live as of 5 p.m. Vancouver time. So, yeah, another disturbing thing is that uh, our guest, we haven't been able to reach our guest supposed to be uh, Mr. Dr. Dennis Burke, who is uh, said to be a wisdom doctor. And so we haven't been able to reach him. So uh, wisdom. Now I'm going to have to improvise and become the wisdom doctor. (laughs) He says he's a wisdom doctor. Okay, what else? What else was he saying that he is? He also said that he has a doctorate in metaphysics, you know, so I guess I'm going to use my doctorate in talking (laughs) and then talk to you about what I know about wisdom because I was going to ask him questions about wisdom and how does one become a wisdom doctor because obviously I want to become a wisdom doctor and um, yeah. So let's talk about what we know about wisdom. Uh, And we may take calls in, uh, but that's not for sure, unless, of course, our guest decides to call in. Uh, But other than that, uh, I guess I'll tell you what what I think or what I know about um, wisdom. First of all, I don't even understand what the word means. Wisdom. Okay, so maybe I should get a dictionary and try to find out what the word means from the dictionary and then maybe go from from there. But um, if I translated, see, this is the thing. When you speak uh, English as a second or tenth language, uh, then you have to translate uh, whatever word that you get in English into whichever other language that you may understand better to understand what exactly you are talking about. So, um, anyways, this is how this is what I do when I don't understand something a word in English or when it's weird. I try to find the equivalent of uh, the word in um, my own language. Okay, so wisdom comes from knowledge, good judgment, based on experience, uh, the quality of being wise. This is from the dictionary, okay? Uh, Wise conduct, wise words, uh, scholarly knowledge. Uh, What else? Wise... Yeah, so pretty much if you're wise, I guess you have wisdom and um, wise. So what does wise mean? Uh, Wise means to understand, to realize, to be informed about. um, Wise akin to guys. Wise. Anyways, yeah, so we've established. I don't understand what the word wisdom means. <laughs> and this is precisely why I'm a doctor of wisdom. So, um, I used to be into some arguments with uh, my mom, for example. And then she would tell me that um, I may have intellectual uh, arguments, this and that, you know, it beating people in and then but she would be like but you don't have the wisdom i'm like well what do you what what do you need once you have the intellectual capacities 
to debate and win whatever it is debate that you need to be winning, what do you need uh, wisdom for? But apparently you need wisdom on top of um, intellectual capacities and in order to navigate your way into life. So um, maybe, as I come to understand it, what wisdom means is somehow uh, intuition, um, intuition knowledge, being able to be in tune uh, silently, uh, being able to observe and um, not be influenced by the outside world and just come up with your own with your own conclusion based on you know what you from you and your own research have come up with and this is something that i have struggled to do for a very very long time and um i do have a new book coming out so i hope i have found wisdom <laughs> In my new book, oh man, because I am actually like revising uh, history, revising my history, the history of uh, my country, the history of where I, I live, the history of uh, my continent, the history of my people. And uh, it's just because I'm I'm revising history because I have received so much more knowledge ever since I got out of university. <laughs> Funny how you learn more out of university than you learn when you're in university. I'm under the impression that when I was at university, I was just partying. I wasn't really even learning anything. So I get out of university. I felt so stupid. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know anything. People think I have a degree, but I don't know anything. So I you know I continue to educate myself. And I came to find out that so much of what we are told in this world is uh, fake. Yeah. Which is another reason why I'm in the media now interviewing people and uh, being the media myself because um, sometimes when you're trying to promote a book or a different type of uh, message, well, you know, uh the media for whatever purposes or reasons they don't they don't want to broadcast that so what are you going to do you have alternatives you can become your own media and um i guess that's part of uh, the wisdom that i have learned so when i was young wisdom was uh ubgenje in kinyarwanda which is um which is, you know, some animal characters, uh, like when they tell child, child tells uh, uh, Bakame, which is the uh, the the rabbit, <laughs> and the rabbit it has is so wise, and they tell the rabbit stories to kids. Uh, Bakame, he is so wise, but at the same time. His wisdom is about deception and getting away with uh, deception. So wisdom can come in many forms uh, depending on, um, you know, depending on, uh, depending on where you search. So I personally have searched through books, reading and reading and reading and reading more. And I guess soon enough, I will be talking uh, to you about my new book, which is coming out soon. And um, uh, hopefully nothing has happened to our guest, you know, such as an accident or something horrible like that. You know, it's... Uh, Usually rare that uh, when people confirm they uh, they don't show up, but it happens. And um, 
You know, the thing with uh, media production is that uh, sometimes you do have backup guests, but <laughs> it, what if the backup guest has nothing to do with the topic of the day, which is wisdom? So what do you do? So we're trying to be wise uh, ourselves. So anyways, um, the fight, the battle of wisdom is the battle between uh, logic and intuition and some people are more logical other people are more uh, intuitive and uh, so that's to me that's where the argument has been born because in an intuitive person will tell you oh you know I feel this and that and yeah, you're like, okay, so you feel that, but what are you basing that on? <laughs> and then it's like, oh, it doesn't have to be based on anything. It's my feeling. It's what I'm feeling. Okay, so that is hard for people who use logic to understand, you know, how someone can just be based on some feeling or some hunch from somewhere and just be like, yeah, I'm going with that. But uh, a lot of times, uh, uh, a lot of artists, you know, usually uh, are guided by some sort of intuition anyways that uh, can, uh, if they tune right into it, can guide them to wherever it is that they they're supposed to be uh going and i find that uh people who have a lot of uh logic can be like uh good managers <laughs> you know or these people who are investing on the stock market and stuff like that um Clearly, they, you know, they have logic. They're thinking in numbers, and the number is the bottom line, and it's like, okay, so we're going to make this much money. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah, so that's how much money we want. So if you bring in less money, what is your problem? Why did you bring in less money, you know? So the these logical people are just looking at the numbers, and it's like, okay, so... How many people died in order for you to get these numbers for your company to make this much money? Pfft, yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> they don't care. They'd be like, yeah, how much money did we make? And that's it, you know? So um, I guess in our world, what we were really trying to get to for today's subject was to find out what kind of uh, direction and how do we reconcile these two types of uh, operating modes in order to become a better society. How do we reconcile the concerns of those who are concerned with money and the concerns of those who were concerned with the unseen uh-huh because apparently uh what we see is only only a tiny 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 fraction of what is so if we are basing our lives and our decisions and all that stuff on what we see then, you know, we're pretty much like at 10%. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so we're pretty much at 10% and that's it. Now, this uh, guest of ours was a doctor in metaphysics. I was going to ask him what's the difference between physics and metaphysics. And um, another thing, another kind of wisdom that I have discovered in the recent years is that idea of uh, visualizing what you want and actually eventually getting what you had visualized, you know. And in the past, they said, uh, 
I'm one of those people who watched The Secret, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, tr- I'm gonna test it. <laughs> yeah, you can't be rejecting things that you haven't tested. And a couple of my friends were crazy, Louise. You got it, but I did, man. And I tested on parking. There was a specific uh, notion about visualizing and parking spot, and I remember. Parking, everybody that lives in this world, the Western world, knows how hard it is to find parking. So I was in, and I remember every time I would have a car, renting a car, and I would have a car, I would, um, I would visualize my parking spot. You know, like when we were going downtown. And it, it, it's always hard to get a parking downtown when you're going out. And before I leave the house, I would be like, okay, this is the parking spot that I want. All right? And I would go downtown. I would be driving a couple of friends around. And they'd be like, yeah, there is. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to get my parking spot. And they'd be like, ha, ha, ha. Yo, I would get my parking spot. So... That's how I was like, oh, my God. And every time that I got the parking spot, I would be like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. That was a fluke, 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 fluke. This is definitely a fluke because obviously, uh, you know, the universe wants to prove itself right. So it gives me this kind of flukes to believe it. But why would I believe it? <laughs> So I would test it again. I would be like, okay, I'm going to visualize with my parking spot again. And then, yeah, fluke. So then I started uh, doing that for other things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, Just try it. So I don't know what kind of visualizations that I had for today's show. <laughs> I don't know if I even had any visualizations whatsoever, uh, but however way that I had pictured it, it doesn't matter. The way that it ended up happening is great with me. Yeah, this is precisely why you become a talk show host, because you can talk and talk. And sometimes if your guest doesn't show up, you talk to your audience. I know, right? You know, sometimes I get interviews and then I get guests and they talk so much that I never even get to talk. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the day that I get to talk then, I guess. All right. So, um, thank you for tuning in, my international people. We're now going to have a, uh, an hour show today, obviously. And uh, definitely appreciate your viewership. Uh Readership, followership, and all the comments, love that you sent back to us, and all the people who read the newsletter and write back, and yeah, um, so we have a, a lot of great things coming for all this year around, and I have a new book, and I'm gonna do a tour, we're shooting videos, and then we're going to be broadcasting all those things uh, to you from uh, Watcher Production, you know? And uh, so keep sending us whatever you think that we should be uh, covering, comments, uh, everything. We like, like, like it. Connect with us on uh, Facebook social media we got a facebook page um so we're gonna try to be a little bit more active on the facebook page uh but the most interesting thing is the newsletter because we get feedback and we get to hear from all kinds of people around uh, canada the u.s europe and africa yeah we got people in kenya tanzania and uh, the West Africa, you know, we we got people all, all over the place who send us comments. Like, we have listeners in Kenya telling us about the Kenyan elections. 
uh, which um, are coming up soon, which one of the candidates is already accused by the ICC. And they, let me not even get into the uh, ICC bug ball case right now going on in, against the Ivory Coast uh, president because it's just, it's a scam. It's, it's it's a huge scam, and it's one of those things that we were going to talk about today. Why the media? Why they do this to distract you and to distract you from your own purpose and your own minds by staging something as such a huge, huge, huge scam. Did you know that the other day, apparently, one of the pictures that was supposed to be proof in the Bagbo case, they were saying that you know picture of the crimes that he committed and then the picture happened to be you know people were like oh that's not even a picture of uh, Cote d'Ivoire it happened to be a picture of in Kenya what does that mean that shows you that the people in Europe who are setting up all this nonsense scam they're they don't even make a difference between the Africans there go. Africans, Africans, Ivory Coast, Kenya, uh-huh, you know, and you know what the Kenyans are about to go into the elections, so let's see if it's not going to be the same kind of scam applied to Kenya as is going on right now in for Cote d'Ivoire and all these things, distraction, distraction from your mind, from your inner self, from your inner wisdom, know how to watch and read and listen to all these things but at the end of the day disconnect <laughs> disconnect my international hero disconnect and go back into thyself all right so on that note thank you have a great evening and uh we will try to find out what happened to our guest hopefully nothing happened to him and uh ciao 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 muracose muramuche muracara